Welcome back to part two of my mini series on creating a cardboard box, the UV and modeling tutorial. So now that we've got our cardboard box modeled and we've exported our UV layouts, I made a texture. So as you can see, I exported my uh, UV layouts into Procreate. You can use any software you like and I just made some basic textures. I also made the internal corrugated parts for uh, where we put the uh, edges and the seams of the box. So you can see the corrugated uh, stuff going in there now. I also made a decal. It's got a white background here, but I got rid of the background before I exported so we could layer this in later. And now we have our box modeled and UV'd. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add the texture that we painted onto our model. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into shading mode. Remember, we've made all of our UVs already. So this should just work. Now, if you've not got Node Wrangler enabled, okay, what I did just did, I can't use uh, screencast keys in the um, shader editor because for whatever reason it slows it the heck down and I can't figure out why um, I tried all the settings. I've pressed shift T with Node Wrangler enabled. To enable Node Wrangler you need to go to edit preferences and then in your add-ons activate the Node Wrangler. So this um, control and T will add an image texture node, a mapping node and a texture coordinates node set to UV. Now if we open the texture that we made, once I click go, it should just work. Okay, there we have it. We've got our painted texture, um, which looks quite nice. Okay, but we can take this further. We can do a lot more with this. Okay, so first of all, let's give it some um, roughness. Okay, so go Shift A, search color ramp okay put the color into the factor of the color ramp um, node wrangler enabled press control and shift okay and click once okay so we're going to see the color um, here so dark means shiny and light means um, rough so what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, Pull these in the opposite direction and let's see how that worked out. Plugged into the roughness, okay. So we'll pull this back and about there we start to get some kind of, it's a bit shiny so let's actually click on this black and bring it down. So we've just got a little bit of, little bit of shine, that even might be too shiny. So it's so one, one great tip is if you feel like you've got it just right, dial it in a little bit more because it's probably too much. It's always a little bit too much. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Get another color ramp. Okay. And we're going to plug the color into it. Shift click. Okay, and we're going to make a bump node, search, bump. Okay, and we're going to plug this into the height. And we get that. And then we're going to plug that into the normal. Control, shift, click. And that is way too bumpy. But what if we bring this strength down to 0 0.005? We're just getting a little bit of bump, so let's try 0 0.01. Uh, 0.05, even 0.1, that's a little bit too much, so we're going to go 0.075. Now, well, that's still too bumpy, as you can see, so we'll go 0.05, and what we might do is just bring this black quite the way down. Okay, so we've got a little bit of texture in here now. 
Okay, so that's one thing we can do, but we can take it further still. So remember when we painted the texture, we also painted uh, some decals. So what we're going to go down to here is we're going to go to UV map and double click it and we'll change this to decal or decals. Okay, and we're going to search in here and we're going to type in UV map. Okay, and from our drop down, we'll select decals. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to duplicate the mapping node. Okay, and we're just going to plug that straight into the vector. And we can minimize that one down. We can minimize these down as well because we don't need them. Um, so I'm just going to put those into a little group. So what I did there was I pressed Control G. Okay, and that made a group and put me inside the group. And that's inside the group. And we're going to tab out. Okay. And with this mapping node, we're going to go sh uh, Shift A, and we're going to search for another image texture, and we're going to open up the decal texture that I made, which is a couple of drawings with a transparent background. So if I plug it into there, you won't see a lot. Okay. Um, but if we put the alpha channel in, you can see white and black. So the black means there's nothing there, and the white is our decal. Okay, so we'll just minimize this one down. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for a mix node. And we are going to just put that there. And we're going to get into our image, and we're going to plug our alpha into the factor. Okay, we're going to plug our color, and actually, before we do that, we're going to change it from float to color. We're going to plug our color into the B socket, and we're going to plug our other color into the A socket, and Bob's your uncle, but obviously that doesn't look right. That's not how a cardboard box looks. So back in UV editing mode, okay, make sure we've got decals selected from our UV maps under object data properties. Okay, and we're going to select everything and we're going to go S, zero, and we're just going to put it some. If we see if we've got that, it's just going to make the whole thing a little bit the color of whatever it's over. So as I pull this around, it's going to change ever so slightly and that'll be red. So that's all of our UVs in a single dot. We're just going to put that somewhere neutral. We'll select these four and we'll go U, project from view. Okay, now we've got a square. So we can go into the middle of this and we can just scale it up. And what have we got there? And we'll do the same again. U, project from view. Okay, and we'll choose the umbrella. Scale it up. Okay. Now if we go into object mode, we've got those two. So I reckon we can actually move those around a little bit. I uh, might make that a little bit smaller. And same with that. I might just need to move that across a little bit. And might be able to move that across a little bit. And make it even smaller. Okay, so because these are also on a 4K texture, they have a higher uh, resolution than the actual box, but that's kind of cool because it means that where we want people to see the detail, the detail is high, and where it's just the, something neutral, it's a bit of a lower detail, which is a trick they use in game engines. So let's just get a, a few more spots. And um, put our decals on. Uh, project from view. I'm going to maybe put this guy here. And
we don't even need to use project from view because we're just doing squares we can just actually go unwrap and it will unwrap the whole thing and we'll scale this down rotate it on the 90 and what do we have on the other side the umbrella so we'll have the we'll have the glass scale it down and we will have the actually okay so And there we have it. And maybe one up here. That's our cardboard box. So just one more look at the shader editor. What we have is the base color getting plugged into a mix node with the decals. We've got two different UV maps. And that's it.